Hi, all. Don't get fooled by Ken. So, I don't rob, I don't steal, do any of that stuff whatsoever, period. I don't even fornicate at all, period. No. Don't fornicate at all, period. Discipline. Ken, just an information for you. Taking shipping boxes from USPS and not paying any shipping fees is stealing, so don't lie here. How are we doing out there? First thing first, my name is Kenneth Bird, and this is Cardboard Kingdom. Uh, this is um, a passion of mine that I really enjoy to do. I just got into it about, I've actually I've been doing some stuff with cardboard building fans and stuff like that, but... I've been integrating projector mapping technology and also, too, we designed this incredible screen paint that we've also, too, been integrating into our um, our cardboard uh, project. So I decided to build a desk completely out of cardboard. I figure, why not? I see people building with furniture all the time with cardboard. I figure, what can we do with it? How can we expand it by using it in our demonstrations and for the technology we're working on involving our screen paint products? And um, just really love building with cardboard. I really do. Everything about it, I love it. So as I travel on my journey, I hope you enjoy join me on all the different interesting things we'll be building with cardboard and showing off some of the cool stuff we can do with it. All right. Got to go. Thank you for your time. And God bless. And of course, you know, we thank our Lord because our Lord is the one who gives us the imagination to build such amazing things. All right. Hope you're loving the desk. I'll talk more about it in the next video. All right. Ken is building all his stuff with cardboard boxes from USPS. That is, by the way, a violation of federal law and even USPS postal fraud. Since that means USPS belongs to the government, they could raise shipping fees or let the Pennsylvania taxpayer compensate for the damage Ken is causing to USPS and the state of Pennsylvania. If you'd like to report Ken to the USPS, FTC and FBI feel free to use the links in the comment section. Every report helps. Thank you. Ken has been scamming his customers and the city of Allentown from the garage since the middle of September 2023. He does have so much confidence in his product line that he uses other people's addresses from Philadelphia as sender. Ken's product line must suck since he is wasting so much time on the competition. Have you ever seen Screen Innovation making videos on Elite Screens or any other screen company ranting on their competition on YouTube like Ken does? Ken complains about stalkers, but in reality, he is stalking his competitors. 24-7, the proof is on his channels. Because Ken violates federal law, no one should buy from Black Series Edition, Crystal Edge Technology Screens, or any other company that belongs to Kenneth Bird. When you buy from Kenneth Bird, you support a person that is scamming the U.S. system and lies about his competition. Ken even did a video where he explains how to kill your competitor's child so they have to suffer as parents. The video was removed by YouTube, like another video, where he claims the Allentown police gave him permission to kill people. That Ken needs to steal other people's products and names to get a sale says a lot. Just a reminder, Ken doesn't own any copyrights for the logos or labels he uses. What he does is going to LegalZoom and buys a copyright for a name and then attaches the name to a logo or label and claims copyright for the image he stole. Claiming copyright for an image stolen from a site and attaching your company name is copyright infringement that could be even considered willingful copyright infringement since you do it on purpose. No copyright violations here, Ken. You don't own the rights that way. Read your cease and desist letter more carefully. Ken threatening his unhappy buyers with a lawsuit should be a huge red flag, and no one should buy from a company like this. You as a buyer could be his next victim just because you didn't like what you bought. Do you really think that Ken does have a house he rented to live in? 
Why is he sitting at the garage owner's porch to receive his orders? If he had a house, he could order everything to that address. But looks, everything comes to the garage he orders. Is Ken dumping his feces and pee from that bucket into the nearby creek at night when no one watches him?